was allocated walk and um, I can't help but potter and tinker and I want to do stuff in the garden it's been raining like all morning so this afternoon was lovely so we've been for our walk and bought a little thing just to kind of brighten up what is quite a dull corner so um, yeah can't wait to show you something <laughs> which you know there's not really a lot of options in February it is February isn't it it's not really a lot of options in February as to what you can plant and what's gonna grow but good old Cress comes to the rescue so look look I've got little sproutlings sproutlings coming up from my little Cress seeds I'm really excited because obviously they grow within a week so we can bang them in salads and all the things um the other thing I've done this morning is empty the compost, which doesn't sound very exciting, but it does mean that you can, um, you know, put less into your household waste and use, you know, the food bits and scraps for your garden. So I'm quite lucky. We do have a compost bin in the garden already, and um, that was, uh, we used the contents of a whole one to fill up the bed. Next time I can go outside, I'll show you. But, um, you know, you can stick anything in compost pretty much. Um, to you know to, to to mulch down things like eggshells do crush them up so they're really small because they don't they don't um, compost otherwise but coffee grinds like Sean's literally just filled the box up look <laughs> with coffee grinds out of a machine that's really good for compost you know all the peelings from your vegetables um, tea bags like literally so much we put so much in um, our compost bin and it just makes the most beautiful compost. So um, the bin we've got, they're, they're quite standard, but you basically bung all the rubbishy bits in the top and then there's like a little flap at the bottom that you open up and all this lovely soil comes out. Um, don't ask me how long it takes. I can't remember. I will look it up. Um, but, um, you know, there's lots of different types of compost bins you can get and ones which, you know, have worms going around them and stuff that will compost much quicker. But, you know, a bog standard plastic compost bin doesn't cost very much and, you know, will sit in your garden forever and you can just chuck all your stuff in. So, um, yeah, so there we go. Compost, it's all good stuff. So I've spent quite a lot of time in the garden this morning and cleared up loads of rubbish and bits that just got piled up and had a good old tidy and it was lovely because the sun shone this morning and it was just delicious. Um, so I've just popped in for a quick bite to eat and Sean bless him is now constructing the second uh, vegetable planter. So I'm going to pop outside and show you what he's doing. Um, yeah, I didn't just do tidying actually, I did pot some random bulbs and I didn't even know what they were. So it'll be interesting to see what they <laughs> turn into. Um, and yeah, and just move some soil about and, you know, it's one of those mornings that it was lots of little jobs that doesn't look like an awful lot, but I'll be glad that they're done. So let's go and have a look at this. So there he is. I'm not going out because I haven't got my wellies on. It's a bit boggy, um, but we're just using some hardwood timber. There we go. To construct the second bed, which will match that one. And then I'll show you how we're gonna fill it. Just recording this through the window, so there's a slight reflection on the glass, but you can see where the spade is. We had to basically bash away an old little wishing well that was sat there that wasn't really serving any purpose and actually just got in the way of the new bed. Um, because being a bit OCD, I want them to be the same size. So, um, so yeah, so we've kind of knocked out all the bricks, so we're going to have to get, get rid of that rubble somehow, which is easier said than done nowadays. And um, yeah, there we go. But bless Sean, he's um, <laughs> doing this on his own, and I really should be out there helping him, but I did need to have a little bit to eat, so there we go. It's day two of the weekend and today is considerably colder than it was yesterday. 
but we've got lots to get done yesterday we put in the second of the well now we've decided we're going to have four beds right so this is growing this little project but we have got the wood like so we're actually quite lucky we've got the wood for this and um which actually was going to go for another project extending our roof but we're not going to do that probably for some time so um today's outfit of the day we have quite a fetching little bobble hat we've got a cardigan that i got from a vintage shop in uh, the isle of Wight festival my north face jacket because it's freaking cold the most attractive pair of brown leggings and of course some now very muddy wellies so let's get on with it and now it started snowing which is cool but it's not going to settle because we're too near the sea but i'm quite excited by this um so what have we done we've got some bricks uh that we from the wishing well that we cut out yesterday we're just putting them around the beds just to try and level up the garden a little bit um and reuse them we're going to put some tram over the top some type one and then see how it looks but um yeah that's been hard work today bashing all of those um oh there's a bit of sun yummy <laughs> So going back out in the garden today, so I'm super excited because Sean's managed to pick up a um, pre-loved chipper, which means that the bush that we cut back really quite heavily and we've got a lot of it left means that we can chop it all up and um, hopefully use it in the garden in the bottom of the beds. So it's going to be super cold, hence I'm wrapped up, but yeah. <laughs> just finished in the garden come in had a cup of tea because I got really cold but um yeah if you're following on on my crazy little journey then you know it's lovely to have you here I'm going to just keep showing you what we're doing in the garden no plan really so this could go anywhere um but what I do know is that in March I'm going to plant some seeds so exciting 